Hi, everyone. My name is Drew Varshney, and I am a technical associate in the Declinic Group of the Langer Lab. And today, we, we will be presenting over our array of light, fine-tuning the production of 3D printed microneedles. In this image, you see 3D printed microneedles from the highest resolution 3D printer in the world, the Nanostrag. We use these 3D printed microneedles to develop mRNA vaccines against SARS-CoV-2. As we all know, in the last two to three years, mRNA vaccines have dramatically improved vaccination efficacy, specifically against SARS-CoV-2, but they have also changed the landscape of immunology and vaccinology for the next generation of vaccines. In mRNA vaccines, there are two main components, mRNA, as I hope that was obvious, and also LMPs, or lipid nanoparticles. LMPs in mRNA vaccines are composed of three crucial elements, ionizable lipids, helper lipids, and peg lipids. And together, these simultaneously preserve and serve as stabilizing recipients for the coding sequence of the mRNA so that the vaccine is delivered to the appropriate spot in the body for the highest possible immune response. As such, the platform is highly immunogenic and also incredibly modular, as in you can plug and play mRNA into virtually any or any disease model using the same combination of stabilizing recipients to target virtually any disease. However, there are still many issues with this platform. The generation of biohazardous sharp place, the thermal stability of the vaccine itself, mRNA needs to be kept extremely cold, the need for healthcare personnel to actually administer the vaccines, and also the pain that is associated with vaccination, which can be a deterrent for people to choose to get vaccinated. As such, there are biomedical alternatives for standard of care vaccination. One of these are microneedle array patches, or MAPs. MAPs are painless, thermostable, and sharps-free biomedical alternatives for vaccination. There we go. <laughs> so the way that MAPs work is that they are able to spatially control a vaccination to the dermis, or the layer that is about one to four millimeters from the very top of your skin. The reason that the dermis is targeted is because it has a very high population of resident immune cells, including T cells, B cells, mast cells, and dendritic cells, just to name a few. And when targeted, these cells are able to take an antigen that is presented to them and create a very robust immune response. And so you can imagine that the actual design, the geometrical design of these maps is very crucial to ensuring the highest possible vaccination. Some of these considerations include pitch or how far apart the needles are spaced. Having a needle, I have, having a map that is not spaced appropriately could lead to the map just popping out of your skin after application. The patch size or how large your map actually is. The reason that patch size can vary is due to the potency that's associated with the vaccine or the actual dose that is required for generating an appropriate immune response. And also the tip angle or the sharpness of the vaccine. Having a very sharp microneedle is crucial to targeting the dermis accurately, otherwise you will be getting a suboptimal response. And so you can wonder, or you can imagine rather, that being able to simultaneously and rapidly test these factors to create the most optimized microneedle array patch is very crucial to advancing this platform. So to meet that goal, we use MPP or multi-photon 3D printing to enable the rapid prototyping of optimized maps for enhanced vaccination. There's a very simple workflow associated with this process. First, we create a computerized assisted design or drawing using common software such as SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD to actually design our microneedles. Then we think about the actual material that we're going to print out of, including the rigidity, the internal structure of our needles, the size, and the desired accuracy of our features. We then encode these parameters into a general writing language in which we tell the nanoscribe this is exactly what we want. Following this process and this encoding, we physically print our needles and develop them. Development is a process in which we take the unpolymerized material and remove it using a chemical process. Following this, we are able to characterize these beautiful needles, create a reverse mold, and then cast dissolvable polymers, as well as mRNA, which we then use to test or assess the immunogenicity of our vaccine in animal models and hopefully in the clinic soon. And so I'd like to thank lots of people that work on this project and our collaborators, but primarily Anna and Bob for all their advice on this platform and also several other projects in the lab, as well as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for funding this project and the rest of the Jaclinic group members.
And I also actually have the award-winning image in my hand. If anyone wants to see it, I can pass it around. 